Hello, welcome. This is a reading for you, Pisces. We rolled Pisces here today. All right, Pisces. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on between you and a person. Wow, I could tell you immediately, though, this is Scorpio energy. This is eighth house energy. We have Pluto and we have the eighth house. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio during this time, but there is some drastic change that is occurring with eighth house vibes. Let's see what we're working with. You may have experienced an ending. You're phasing out of a situation here. Some of you guys, you could be um, paying off some loans, some debts, if, if you have that. Okay, this could also be like energy of inheritance in your vibe. Let's see. Show me Pisces today related to a person whom we have not yet pulled. <laughs> Ooh, Pisces, look at you. A little chipper. You got a little pep in your step. Is that what you're doing? Okay. And the four of cups. Wow. All right. You are going to be feeling like you have options. Okay. And you're very optimistic about them. It's looking like not anyone is standing out too strongly right now. Or maybe you're trying to bring more, like you're injecting more energy into a situation. You're trying to bring something back to light or strengthen a passion here. Okay, yeah, the seven of wands. Okay, so the two. So let's see who's in your reading. You could also be talking to someone and saying, yes, I like that. No, I don't like that. Yes, these are things I do want to involve myself in. No, that turns me off. Like you could be telling someone about your hobbies or things that like you really like okay things you like to do things you like to experience who is in pisces reading okay so this is the four of cups individual it's um that's who this is that's who came up on the bottom of the deck here so there's someone here that's feeling lackluster or like you're not really paying attention to them that's because you're doing something else so this, this Four of Cups energy person, yeah, the Seven of Wands, they're feeling like there's a rejection going on now. Let's see how you're seeing them because they're saying that you're not talking to them like you used to, that you're probably interested in something else, which you are. I can see that. It could be a person or, like I said, maybe something that you're into. How does Pisces see this Four of Cups person? You see them with the Eight of Cups. Okay. So, yeah, judgment. Wow. So you feel like this situation had to come to an end or come to a close? Someone had to leave the building, okay? Elvis has left the building. You, you're saying that there was some sort of decision that was made, a choice that was made that has changed the way that you feel about a person. Yeah. So you may feel like this person dug their own hole and they put themselves in it. It's like you decided that. Why are you upset about it all of a sudden? Like this could be someone who decided to drop out and now you lost interest. And so now they're feeling like, oh, Pisces, I'm so sad. It's like, okay, but you, but that's your fault though. It's something like that. How does this person see Pisces? <laughs> How does this person see Pisces? They see you. Yeah. Okay. Look at you. I'm telling you, your energy is fun. It's lively. Um, you're ready to try new things and it's looking good for you. Like you, you're optimistic about the future. This person seems to be like dull or drab or whatever, but I feel like that's their fault. Something that they did made you lose interest in them. And now they're like kicking themselves over it. Why? Right? Let me see. How do you um how do you feel about this four of cups person? Well, okay. Don't lie to me, all right? We do have the knight of cups and the king of cups. You really like this person. This is in your feelings. Vice versa if you have to. This is like love, romance. Um I really care about you. So, even if it's not full blown I'm in love with you or I was, this is like, I care for you as a person. We connect emotionally and therefore I care. So I care about you. I still care about you. Let me see how this person feels about you. 
Yeah. What are you doing, Pisces? It looks like you're getting into like a new energy. You're getting your hands dirty. You're ready to start, I don't know, painting, gardening, something. Something is uh, very like you're exploring a little bit, a little explorative. Okay. So the Ace of Swords, this is someone who's seeing you as away from them. You're distant. You're keeping your space. You're not really paying attention to them. You just want to see what life has to offer you right now. You have this expansive nature about you. Um, better days ahead, right? That's that's how you're seeing it, or you will be here. This person feels aligned with you. But also that you're too far away right now. Are you traveling? Maybe you're about to travel. This could be some sort of like, yeah, there's like a ship right there. You could be traveling on the water or something, over water. What does this person, um, what does Pisces want with this person? <laughs> the high priest does. That's your energy, my love. Okay, the ten of swords. Yeah, you know what? Unscathed. This is not affecting you. Like, I feel like someone was expecting you to be hurt or expecting you to be sad or cry about it or like, I don't know, grovel or at least feel bad a little bit. You don't, not at all. If anything, you feel a fresh start. You feel a fresh beginning. If anything, you feel excited about the future. So when it comes to what you want with this person, it's not a whole lot. If this person is inquiring about you, asking about you, you'd prefer they don't have any answers. It's like, okay, let me be a mystery then, okay? Let you have those questions then. It's like that. You're not wanting to speak to them. What does this person want with Pisces, please? Uh-huh, I knew it. Six of cups. They're over here in their feelings about you. They are big time in the two of swords. Well, I don't know if they're going to do anything. We're going to have to ask that. But what they're saying is that they would love to have a reconciliation with you, but it appears to be not an option right now or it's off the table because what they're doing is they're daydreaming about you, thinking about you, fantasizing about you. They're not happy with their predicament, but you're saying you put yourself there. So um, you wanted to see what else was out there. You wanted to you know, live your life the way that you did without me. So why are you sad? Why are you sad now? That makes sense. Let's see what this person is doing with that four of cups. <laughs> Tell us about this four of cups energy. Yeah, so they're doing the magish. What are they doing with the magish? Yep, here it is, the five of swords. They're trying to create a scenario where you would respond or you would have interest toward them here. Yeah, they're trying to get you to care, to feel, to do something. You, they could be jealous. What are you doing, Pisces? It looks like you're having fun or going out. You have like a social life right now, or you will be. There's something very social about you. Are you dating? Maybe you're dating. Anyway, you have this new beginning and this person knows. And so now they're trying to create this scenario that you're going to be interested to talk to them and reignite something. So let me see how you're seeing them here with this Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. This is not viable, is it? You may have said that to this person. So there's an instability here when it comes to like long term or like someone's ability to be consistent and steady with you, which made you lose interest. There's an incompatibility here in that way. You lost feelings. You lost interest. Tell me one more here. This could be earth sign energy or water sign energy person. Five of cups. Yes, yeah, so you know that they're stuck in regrets. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the world card. This is talking about like this person is distant, away, far away from you, all those things. Okay. Maybe it sucked to have to pull away, but now you're not feeling it at all. Like, I feel like you don't. I don't know if you don't miss them or something because they, they want you to miss them. So you're seeing this person. Yeah. Like you told them that you changed your mind. You're like, look, okay, I can't do this anymore. Um, I can't talk to you anymore. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. 
And now you know that they're sorry, or they said this to you, but that was your energy back here. So this person is, um, they're stuck on the past here with the five of cups. They are stuck on the past. They have regrets. They're sad, remorseful. And that's because they walked away or because someone walked away. The eight of cups, yeah. Eight of cups energy. But this is your energy, Pisces. So you could have seen something about them where you're like, no, never mind. That's Saturn and Pisces. Okay, so Taurus energy here. There they are. Okay, so the King and Queen of Swords. They told you they didn't care about something. This is like, I don't care. Maybe they weren't there when you wanted to talk. Or you wanted to confront something. You could have told them that there was an ultimatum type energy. I'm not going to stand for this anymore. Something needs to change. Okay. Um, in order for this to move forward. And they didn't do that. Or they didn't care. Or they didn't respond. They didn't respond accordingly. That's what this is. They're like, no, I can't do that. With Empress energy? Hmm. Okay. So that's what happened. It looks like they were not on board with what you needed. And clearly you needed something. This is your needs not being met. Period. So let's see how they're seeing Pisces with that three of wands. Let's get into this, huh? How are they seeing Pisces? Four of Pentacles. Ooh. And the Ten of Swords, what else? Yep. So the Queen of Pentacles. Hermit. Wow. Have you ghosted? So you're becoming more and more mysterious as time goes on. You could be holding off from a Virgo energy, or this is the energy that you're in. There's also, there's just, just a lot of earth and energy right now. It looks like you don't want to apply yourself here anymore. So the king and queen of pentacles, something is lacking. So this person knows that you're looking forward, that you're looking for something specific that's going to check all the boxes. You actually have an opportunity here. So however they know this, I don't know, but they know that you have something else that's here or is coming in. Let me, let me see. Maybe it's their spidey senses or they see you somewhere. Yeah, you're resisting speaking to them. You're not putting any energy toward them. And it's like, okay, this is what you get, you know, so suck it up kind of thing. It's like they could be saying, okay, I'll do whatever you want. Or they've tried to tell you this. No, they won't. That's what I, yeah, no, they won't. Pisces, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> it might be too late. I don't know. Let me see this, um, how they feel about you with the star, please. Well, they feel the queen of wands. Ooh, spicy senorita. Senorita. Okay, so you have the queen of pentacles as well. And the wheel. Hmm. Why are they in this four of swords? Okay. This, okay, first of all, they know that you're away, that you're interested in whatever's coming to you because you have something here. They know about that. Now, when it comes to their feelings, they feel that you are very attractive, that you're very spicy, that you have the energy of persistence as well. Like you would be there if someone needed you or if they needed you, you're there to answer your call. You're there to do your part. You're there to do, you know, what is required to just be a good person. This would be that you're, you're attractive, male or female, very attractive, um, very charismatic, but also 
you're very nurturing and very loving at the same time. And they see that you have something aligning with you. Can you tell me what this is? What is this? So the three of pentacles. Yeah. Empress energy. You have a lot of growth coming to you and they know that. I don't know if you're like expanding your career. You have this relationship that is very expansive coming to you. But I also feel that they feel that you have expanded the meaning of relationship to them and how they could work, even if you're not doing this anymore. <laughs> it's like, is this hindsight type of stuff? I feel like this person is trying to like say, kind of like it's not their fault in a way, but it is. I don't understand why they would think that. For a side note here, this may be someone who's saying, oh, someone else, someone else because of someone else, okay? And I don't know who or what someone else would be, but it's like they could be pawning off their responsibilities because of someone else kind of thing. And I'm going to tell you like this, it's bull, okay? It's bull. It's not truthful. It's someone not being able to stand up for things or... They're not willing to, it's whatever the case, it's probably both, not able and not willing. Someone doesn't have the, the gall to. Let me see what you want with this person with the high priestess. Well, you want, boom, I want them to know that I don't care, that I'm not waiting. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else? The page of pentacles. Are you becoming a boss? Like something about you is... um. Ooh, you're becoming a boss. So even if you do have feelings for this person or you care about them and they touch your soft spot here, right? There's like a soft place here. And they're trying to manifest you back right now. It's looking like you know that or you will be knowing this. There's something about you saying, I have a choice to make and I'm going to go with what feels best to me, what I feel drawn to, what is going to make me excited. And you are. Your excitement is going to be growing in the, in the coming period. So you think you're excited now or in the next few days, you're going to be more exciting because there's more opportunities coming your way. It's like you're aligning yourself with like the wave of um, passion or excitement or success or something like this. And it's just going to be more and more. So what I'm seeing here is that you're not interested in, in like speaking to them. You're being very like stoic toward them, um, more like professional. So if this person does respond to you, you would respond or if this respond to you, if this person reaches out to you, you'd respond in like a kind of like professional cold way. Do you know what I'm saying? When there's actually like feelings here and it's like, oh, why did you say that to me? That's kind of weird. Is that who you, it's like using someone's full name, uh, dear so-and-so. <laughs> Can't come to the phone right now, but I'll be back in the office next week or something like this. <laughs> dear four of cups, <laughs> dear un uninterested vague person, who pretended all these things. That's why it feels like. Let me see this um, queen, of, queen of Cups. Oops. Six of Cups on that. Six of Cups. Yeah, on what they want. What's this? Oh, I can't show you those boobies. So, first of all, the star came out right there again. So, what are they wanting with that Six of Cups? Yeah, Queen of Cups. No wonder I said it. You know, sometimes spirit tries to channel and then you suppress it. And it doesn't work out well. So here's the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords, the uh, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles. Would you look at that? They're watching you. They're watching you. So you're here in this Three of Wands. They're definitely watching you. So they're seeing you because they're actually watching you or trying to keep tabs on you. We have the Spy, Interested Energy here. And they're over here procrastinating or thinking about things. When is Pisces going to get back to me? That's the vibe. You're in control of this here. And it's, it's you. It's all on you at this point. Okay. Um, this is reminding me of a reading we did for you. I don't know. Was it the November All Signs reading? Or, or was it just the All Signs who's, who's in your energy? I don't know. But this is reminding me of something that I've seen for you recently. But anyway... 
Now they're here wondering how you feel. They're trying to get any inclination. How does actually Pisces feel about me from here on out? How is Pisces, you know, um, what does Pisces want? I'm, I'm sitting here waiting, procrastinating. Is Pisces feeling anything? That's what they're looking for information on because they're looking for an in so that you guys can have this reconciliation. But I, the thing is, I feel like they're on pause right now. They're not actually like doing, doing, doing for what they want. They're not acting toward what they actually want. They're being snooping and spying. They're being nosy toward you. They're curious here. They're wondering um, how much time this is going to take. All right. So yeah, I do feel like this is someone who wants to align with you and you have an option to. So that's what this is. So Pisces, it was such a pleasure to read your cards today. Of course, I do have two all signs videos up for this time period. There's an all signs who is in your energy. There's an all signs November reading. And we will probably be doing one here in the coming several days. I feel like we need to get one back up. But we're going to go to the extended now. So feel free to follow me to the Vimeo link in the description box. And in the extended, we're going to see your next moves or whatever's coming in for you. Because I feel like it may not be associated with this person. But you do have an option to. We're going to see their next moves, joint next moves. And anything else that may come up, we will also pull Hidden Truth. And we will pull um oops i'm just throwing things we will pull this divine feminine oracle that i like to use lately for advice or further support words of wisdom things of that nature okay so we'll just see how things go but feel free to meet me there but i'm so happy to have you here today pisces and i will see you next time